Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The Armenian Church in Sebastia will serve as a museum. The ban on events and activities in Ban has been extended for 15 days. Samantha Power. What in fact jeopardizes U.S. negotiations with Turkey is Erdogan, rather than the recognition of the genocide. The Ottoman bath built by the Armenian architect was put up for sale in Turkey. A monument of Komitas was erected in Constantinople. Rafael Vahanyan is the world champion of chess veterans. The Holy Mother of God Church in Gyun, Western Armenia was built in the early 19th century. Restoration of the church which began last year is still ongoing. After being restored, Holy Mother of God Church will serve as a city museum. The church used by the Armenians in the Ottoman period was later used as a prison, movie theater, storeroom and wedding hall. Gyun province has always been distinguished by the Gokpinar Lake and many historical places. The Van Governorate extended the ban on all types of activities and events for 15 days. These bans for safety in the city were established on the November 21, 2016 by the Statement of the State of Emergency, which began on July 15, 2016, following a coup attempt. All kinds of activities are banned for 50 days in open areas within the provinces of Van. The ban is justified as certain measures taken to prevent possible attacks in the city. U.S. diplomat, former U.S. permanent representative to the U.N. Samantha Power, referred to the Senate's veto over the Genocide Against Armenians resolution. After Lindsey Graham cast his veto on the Genocide Against Armenians resolution in the Senate, it blocked Senator Perdue saying, recognition would jeopardize delicate negotiations with Turkey. This is wrong. What in fact jeopardizes U.S. negotiations with Turkey is Erdogan, Power wrote on her Twitter. Let us remind that after the meeting with the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan in the White House, U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham vetoed the genocide against Armenia's resolution in the Senate. Note that every senator in the Senate has the right to veto. The Ottoman bath built by the Armenian architect Mimar Senan was put up for sale in Turkey for $2.5 million. According to ISR.AM, citizens reacted negatively to the sale of 437-year-old bath, stressing that it should be restored, not sold. Recall that Mimar Sinan was the chief architect of the Ottoman court in the 16th century. Sinan left a huge legacy. The name of Mimar Sinan is connected with the beginning of the history of the Ottoman Renaissance or the classical period of Muslim architecture. A monument to the great Armenian musician Komitas was erected in the yard of the Armenian Patriarchate of Constantinople. The author of the monument is Errol Sarafian. The genocide against Armenians organized by Ottoman Turkey tragically interrupted the work of a genius musician. He was also arrested and deported with other Armenian intellectuals from Constantinople. Komitas died on October 22, 1935 in Paris. A year later, his body was moved to Yerevan and buried in the pantheon of Armenian cultural figures now named after Komitas. Representative of Armenia Rafael Vahanyan has won the title of World Veterans Chess Champion, which was held in Romania. In the age group of 65 and over, Vahanyan 68 gained 8.5 points out of 11. Western Armenia congratulates Rafael Vahanyan and wishes him more victories. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Darts Iyetki. <laughs> Find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.